This is Greenhouse Biodigesters, constructors of biodegradable waste, solid biodigesters, sustainable means of solid waste management here in Ghana. This video is about how to construct a new Sokawi design for your biodigester and then connect it as well as manage your toilet with water. The key advantage of why this work is only because then the land you are going to construct the biodigester on is good and sandy. You can soak the water wall. Otherwise, if it's a waterlogged area, this technique is not going to work. So there's a caveat to using this design for your biodigester construction. In this design, what we have done is to just start with the block work and then after you have done the digging and then laid in the shape pipe and done the biodigester to a prior level, depending on the level of the footing of the burden and the depth of the biodigester, your soak away must go a bit deeper than the biodigester, which means that the soap pipe will drop down at an angle or preferred about two feet or 1.5 meters depth between the digester, slicer pipe, and then the soak away pit depth level. If you consider that one, then, and then you get some block, five inches blocks, now the ones that probably are easy for the biodigester construction, you lay them in such a way that you don't do any technical mortar work. The, what is going to help you is the mortar that you're going to use to hold the blocks. So all you want is just a small space in between to provide enough room for the wastewater to just drop into it. The key advantage of why this work is only because then the land you are going to construct the biodigester on is good and sandy. You can soak the water wall. Otherwise, if it's a waterlogged area, this technique is not going to work. So there's a caveat to using this design for your biodigester construction. And then when you do lay the blocks, do you hold them together with the mortar and then put some sealing blocks on top of it. The reason is because you don't have to cast the top slab. If you do have time to cast a top slab, there's nothing wrong with that. But this is just a quick one so that it saves you time and saves you cost. You are going to use the same blocks just to cover the top and then use mortar to hold them firmly together. Then you are going to leave some holes at the base like how you have done a traditional soak away. Leave some holes there for the water to seep into the earth surface. The reason why you do the soak away like this is because of the same problem that we've had why we tell most constructors do not use a soak hole pit if the ground is not good. You are going to do this one because then you just want the space, right? You want the space where the water can come and breathe and have enough space just to seep slowly into the earth surface. If there's an issue, this is where you come and then you can break and lift this block up and see what's the problem that's choking your wastewater on your the shape pipe and preventing the water from going into the ground. So it's just to give you a quick access to your wastewater. That's why you're going to do it like this. It doesn't require a lot of blocks and then it doesn't require you even adding the cost to the homeowner when you have decided already on the buy the extra construction cost. Otherwise, it, I mean, as you know, if it's a traditional soak away, you're adding to the buy the extra, there's an add-on cost. And that one must be done based on the technicalities or whatever you meet on the site. Something like there's a, a problem with the ground and the water is not soaking. So probably you might have to put a pump in it to pump the soak away out. That's why you are using that one. Apart from that, use this new technique of biodigester construction and then cover it nicely with a black rubber or the black membrane or recycled rubber when you are done. And when you finish, then you put the top soil back on it. Just make sure you know the distance between the digester and this particular sukawe so that in case you need to have access to it, you can always have access to it. You can equally raise it up all the way to the top and put a, a slab on it, or you can do it like this and just have it buried. The key part is it's going to work for you if the ground is good, and then you are going to save the homeowner a lot of cost when you do a sukawe like this.